Hello and welcome to this MD. My name is Vaji and today we'll be doing stock price prediction through machine learning in Python. To start off, I want to say that this will be a two-part series. So the first one will cover the uh, down, uh, downloading and preparation phase of the model and the second one will be the uh, actual model and like uh, the back testing of it. So to get started, uh, let me just write a bit of code then I'll explain what I'm doing and then uh, I'll also talk about what the program is about. So in this tutorial, we're going to be using the Yahoo Finance uh, library. So uh, what we're trying to do in this program is uh, we're trying to predict if the stock price will go up or no. We're going to uh, make predictors and make a ticket for that. Uh, I'll show that part later. But initially, what we're trying to do is we're just importing uh, Y Finance and then uh, we're using Microsoft uh, because it has like, a very long history and we can see how the prices go up and down. And uh, this just gets the history. So let me just uh, get the history of that. So this should just print the history. Uh, so from 1986 till uh, today, or this is yesterday, uh, till yesterday, it has shown all the prices, the, the open price, the high price, the low price. So this is the opening when the market opened, what was the price? This is the closing uh, when the market closed, what was the price of this? The volume is how many are uh, bought and sold and uh, these are dividend and stock splits you don't really need to focus on that right now and it's the highest and the lowest price so the one really good thing about this uh, yahoo finance library is that it creates the pandas data frame for us so you don't have to uh, manually create it it's done automatically uh, when we use uh, this my finance library so let me just show how the prices have changed over the years uh, for Microsoft. So if I just plot it and I'll plot a histogram. So uh, there's a plot line function uh, under the same um, Y finance library and uh, we'll get the closing price and we'll see how it has changed over the years. We'll just uh, use the index as true. So if you just see uh, how the prices have changed over the years, you can see since 1998 to 2024, the prices have gone up a lot. So uh, this is a very good denominator. Uh, we use the Microsoft stock to uh, predict the prices. Now again, I'll be writing a bunch of code, then I'll explain what I'm doing. This is to show the preparation phase. Okay, so the first part of this is just importing the pandas and numpy library. You don't really need to do that because uh, it's not needed right now. It's needed a bit later. And uh, even the warnings, uh, you don't need to import it, but I'm just importing it because uh, one of these uh, gives a warning. Uh, it doesn't affect the program at all, but yeah. So now I'm just storing the data and we're getting the closing price in the data and we're changing the name of it. This is pretty self-explanatory. But after that, what we're trying to do is, what rolling does is, it will actually go across every two rows in the data frame and uh, if the second row is uh, higher than the first row then it will return a 1 otherwise it should return a 0. So this is what the, how the target works. So let me show you uh, the data frame and how it looks like now. So if I just look at the data frame now. Uh, so yeah. So what we're doing here is, uh, let me have a look at it. So we're going to use this machine learning algorithm to predict the target in this case. And uh, we're going to train the model uh, using that target. Uh, next, I'll be going over the predictors. So I'll write the code for that, then I'll explain what I'm doing. Okay, so uh, now what we're doing here is we're just creating a new variable which is the uh, Microsoft previous and we're shifting it by one row. Now why we're shifting it is because we're removing the first row basically. 
So if you just remove uh, the first row, then the first uh, set of closing prices won't transfer on and you won't be able to access it. So uh, let me show you with the data frame actually. So if we just, uh, let me run it part, part by part. So if we just go like this and we run it part by part. So this will just shift it. After that, uh, let me show you what this looks like. So um, the first row is basically cancelled over here and the closing price. So when we're predicting it, when we're training our model, uh, which is going to be in the next video, we're not going to use the same closing price for the, like we can't have our future prices ready. So uh, like when the market opens up, we don't already have the closing value of it. So we're just cancelling the first row and transferring everything by one. So shifting every row by one. That's what we're doing over here. And uh, the predictors we're using is open, high, low, close, volume, which are these uh, five variables. And we're joining both the tables. So let me show you what it looks like now. Again, I'll go part by part. So uh, now if we just uh, run this, so these are our predictors. And now we're trying to join both tables. So uh, the predictors and the data. So data is the one that has a target. So we're trying to join the target and the predictors together. So we do it through data. And uh, after that, uh, let's just join this and then I'll show you what data looks like now. Yeah, so this is the actual closing price. This is the new target. So um, the close price actually is from the day before and uh, is all of, all, of, all of the predictors. And um, we're not going to use any data that's from the future to make predictions. And this is how our preparation for our machine model is done. And the next video will be, uh, we'll actually be designing the machine learning model. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And to keep up with our content, follow us on our social medias.